There are a lot of things that could change your life, but very often you strive towards your goals by taking these daily actions and these daily deliberate habits, but the dream never happens. So what gives? A lot of the time what's happening is that there is something subconsciously blocking you from the success or the life that you want. And in this video, I wanna share a very simple exercise that can help you see the truth. What's up guys, Alex Hine over at modernhealthmonk.com. So before we jump in, one of the best ways to unpack the subconscious is with journaling. I've put together a free journaling worksheet below this video and a series of emails you'll also get if you sign up. So go ahead and check those out. Fundamentally, what you get in life is what you think you deserve. So I'll say that again. What you get in life is not just what you work towards, not just what you believe, but what you think you deserve. Now, I like to think of it as like a box analogy where if you do not believe that you deserve great things, you've put an artificial upper limit or a glass ceiling on what you can get from life. Whether that is a six figure income, marrying your dream person, traveling the world, just financial security. If you don't believe that you deserve that or that it's possible. And on the lower side is that you will tolerate an unbelievable amount of bad shit that you don't have to tolerate and you should not tolerate if you don't believe that you deserve good things or if you believe that you deserve those bad things. So fundamentally, your experience of life is going to be just purely what you think you believe. Because if you think you believe that you deserve bad things, you're gonna tolerate bad things. And if you think that you don't deserve these exceptional things or that they're not even possible for someone like you, then you won't even try. Now, one of the areas of life that this is the most obvious in is in dating where you'll see people, I mean, I've known such great women who've dated the most pathetic men that are not good guys, don't treat them well, don't have their lives together, but either because they were dumped or cheated on in the past, and so they developed a belief that there's something wrong with me, that I don't deserve a good guy, or maybe they've dated a guy that had gaslighted them into believing that they are just not that special, they're a dime a dozen, and now that is their belief about themselves. Whatever the case, what the ultimate result was, was that this girl did not believe that she deserved a great guy that treated her well, that had his life together, that had a job, God forbid, and went to see a therapist, if we're even luckier. But all of that didn't come because of some specific actions that she took, but subconsciously, underneath any action she took, there was a certain kind of belief about herself. Now, first and foremost, your self-belief dictates how much bad you tolerate, right? So we talked about this box analogy. There's the upper glass ceiling and there's the lower glass ceiling. Well, first and foremost, your self-belief, your self-image, to use another word, from Maxwell Maltz, the author of the book Psycho-Cybernetics, your self-image will determine basically how much shit you endure and still think it's okay. It will dictate how low you get paid, how poorly people treat you in dating, how much your boss is demanding of you, how much the people around you, your friends will lie, cheat and steal, betray you, speak poorly of you, talk behind your back. All of these things will in some part be dictated by your self image, particularly a low self image. And so, you know, you'll strive every day to have a great career. You'll strive every day to have great friends. You'll strive every day to make a certain amount of income or to work in a job that you love. But if the self image is not of someone who deserves that, then when your boss works you to death, you'll be like, oh, okay, I just, that's what I'm supposed to do. Or if your husband lies to you or cheats or is a gaslighter, you'll think that that's probably true what he's saying. Or maybe you did actually do something to deserve that. Or if your friends are dishonest people, or maybe they're just catty, they talk behind your back, you'll just think that's normal, as opposed to that's something that's, you know, real friends shouldn't be doing that. So your negative experiences in life will be way more, in addition to the lack of positive experiences. Now, paradoxically, on the other side, people don't talk about this. Your self-belief will dictate how much good you allow yourself to feel. So for example, Gay Hendricks in his book, The Big Leap, talks about an accountant or a small business owner, and what happened was he had built his business so hard and was so driven and so focused, and he got to a certain point in his career where he couldn't increase his income beyond a certain six-figure level. And he had hired Gay Hendricks to work with him as a therapist, as a psychologist. And what he learned was that the man had reached the same income level as his father. And he felt that 
if he had exceeded his father's income level, that something bad would happen, their relationship would be tarnished, some, basically there would be some conflict in that parental relationship. Now, this was not conscious, right? This was in the subconscious. He had to go through therapy and work with the psychologist to understand that this was a subconscious script running his life. That he would lose respect for his father because now he had been better than his dad. And once he was aware of the script that if I make more than 120,000, my dad is not a guy I admire, for example. Once he was aware of that script, the next year he made more than double that and had far exceeded that. And more importantly, had spoken with his father about that. So he knew that there would be no hard feelings and that his dad, of course, would be happy to see him transcend that to the next level. The paradox is, we all know someone with low enough self-esteem that they'll tolerate a whole bunch of terrible crap in their life, usually in dating. But what we're not aware of is that that same pendulum to the other side will prevent you from having the maximum joy and enjoyment out of life because you will self-sabotage before you ever reach your full potential. Just like that guy who couldn't break through that income plateau or the woman who could never find a great guy to date. So before you do anything in life, what dictates where you're going to be is your subconscious beliefs because your beliefs will influence your actions and your actions will become your habits and your habits will ultimately become your character. So think carefully and unpack, excavate the subconscious because there's often gold there that is sabotaging you whether or not you like it. So before you guys go, journal down below, get that free guide which will help you unpack some of those beliefs and then check out these related videos right here.